Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Tiwani once again from learn-mission.com. Today in this lecture, we'll talk about how to install Java 11 in latest Mac M2. Now I'm using Java 11, but let's say if you're using Java 8, Java 17, 21, the process will remain same. I would highly recommend you to install Java 11 minimum because the latest tools, libraries which is coming in the market, they supports minimum Java 11. Whether you talk about Selenium, SQL, Test Engine, all the libraries, recommended is Java 11. But in case, due to your project requirement, you want to go with Java 17 or 21, please go ahead with the latest version and follow the same process. Before we start, I want to highlight which Mac I'm using. I'm using MacBook Air M2 and Mac OS Ventura. So please follow this process and let me know if you have doubt in the comment section, but follow the steps carefully. Now let me start a Chrome session first. Let me show you how you can download Java first. We'll divide this video into two parts. First, I will show you how to download Java, how to install Java. Then in the second part of the video, we'll see how to set the path. Because the moment you start working with libraries, they need Java underscore home path, right? So go ahead and type download JDK 11 for Mac. Now we're using Mac M1, M2, the process will remain same. So you will be redirected to this website, which is oracle.com. And you can see it will navigate us to archive download. Now why it is showing as archive, if you open the SE, the latest version at the time of recording is 20. Okay. We also have 21, but it's not listed here. So you can go ahead with 8, 11, 17. But in the archive one, since I need Java 11, I will go with Java 11. Come down further and you will see multiple options here. This is for Linux, then we have for Mac and then we have for Windows and Solaris. You can go ahead and try this Mac OS ARM64 DMG installer. It will take around 153 MB. So make sure you have the minimum space. I would recommend minimum 10 GB before installing because this is the file uh, size, but the moment you download, it needs additional space. So minimum 10 GB is recommended. Now click on this DMG file, review this, click on this. Now it will ask you to create account. If you already have account, you can directly log in and continue. But in case if you don't have account, you can create account for free. You can use any email ID password and you can continue. I already have account here, so I will log in with my personal credentials, but feel free to create your own credential and click on sign in. It will take a couple of seconds and it will start downloading. By default, it is going to the download folder. Let me keep on desktop. Doesn't matter. I personally prefer on desktop for quick navigation and it's done. So it's on my desktop now. I will double click and it should start the installation. It's giving me this PKG file. Double click on this. And this is your installer guide. So first it's introduction, click on continue, click on install. It says minimum 269 MB it will take on your system. So click on install. Now it will ask my Mac password. So I will go ahead and enter my Mac password, hit enter and installation is successful. Very easy steps. Just follow the instruction and we are good to go. The moment you install this, you can open the terminal. And if you want to cross check whether Java has been installed successfully or not, you can type Java space hyphen hyphen version and you should get this Java version, Java 11.0.19, okay? And we are able to see Java version. You can continue with whatever task you have to do. But the moment I say echo uh, dollar Java underscore home, you can see it is returning me nothing. So basically for many libraries, you need this environment variable without this, you cannot even continue. So I will show you now how you can set this Java underscore home variable in Mac. So please follow the steps carefully process is quite easy. 
and I will give you all the steps in the description of this video so you can follow as it is. Okay, so before we start, I want to show you which shell I'm using. So you can also follow the same, just type eco dollar and type shell. And I'm using ZSH shell. So basically, we will continue with one file where we will edit the Java underscore home path. Now, once you understand this ZSH, now go ahead and type ls. But before ls, I will type pwd. So basically, this is my present working directory. I am in this path. And now I will look for the file which I need. So in order to continue, we need one file called .zshrc file, which we need. So try to find that file here. If you already have that file, you can open that file and follow the next instruction. But this is a new Mac. I don't have .zshrc file. So I need to create it manually. Then I will be exporting. So let me create one file using vi editor. So I will write vi and I will write .zshrc. Now once this file is open, you need to tell where Java is actually installed and we are going to set the Java underscore home variable. So by default, when you install Java, it goes to a specific directory. So what you can do, you can come to the desktop, click on this option called go and go to this option called go to folder and search for one folder called library. So slash library. And these are the libraries which is already available in my system. You can search for Java. Java is available here. Double click on this. You will get one more folder called Java Virtual Machines. Click on this. And this is the one that we have installed recently, right? JDK 11. Again, you will get content and you will find home. So this is the home directory that we need to set. The moment you start executing Java programs, you will find all the executables here. So this is what we need Java E and Java. So we need to set the path till here. So let's go ahead and we can take this path actually. So if I right click and click on get info. So this is the path. I will do command C. Come back to editor. So this is my VI editor. I will press I from my keyboard so you can see it's coming in a uh, insert mode. Now I will say Java underscore home equal to I will paste this path. Now you have to save this. So press escape from the keyboard colon WQ. WQ stand for write and quit. So the file is ready now. If you again press ls hyphen al, you can see this file is available. And if you want to see this file content, you can again type vi dot z s h r c. And you can see we have right now if you don't want to edit this press escape from the keyboard colon Q and you will come out of this. Now, once you do this, you can type source. We need to reload the file. So source dot Z S H R C and hit enter. Now, once you are done, just type echo space dollar java underscore home and hit enter and you can see the path is set and this is what we need now before we end this video you have to set one more variable so basically the moment you type echo dollar path sorry it should be dollar you can see we have some path variables so we have usr local bin we have usr bin bin usr s bin s bin and so on so we need to set the path, basically the bin folder. So this was our home directory, right? And inside this bin directory, we have all the binaries. So even though we have set Java underscore home, but we need to set 
or we need to append inside this path variable so what you need to do um, first of all I will open that dot zshrc file that we created right again I will press I from the keyboard and I will write export here so basically we are exporting this java underscore home path and now we'll write again export so we have path variable we want to append this java underscore home java underscore home slash bin with the existing path variable so i'll put colon dollar path so whatever path variables we already have we are going to append this java underscore home slash bin so to export statement initially we have not written export but now since we have to set here export this and then export in the path variable once you are done press escape from the keyboard colon wq yeah now you can do source again to reload this zsh rc and we are done so now if you type echo dollar path you can see now we also have the bin directory for java so initially it was starting from usr local bin now in the path variable you have complete bin directory of java 11 so once you're done now if you want you can restart this terminal open the fresh terminal one second now type java space hyphen hyphen version it's java 11 similarly if i type echo dollar java underscore home we have similarly if i put echo dollar path we have now java in the path variable as well yeah. so that's all about this video in case this video helped you in any manner then do support this channel share with your friends colleague and subscribe this channel and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care